you ready to embrace the pristine beaches, breathtaking cliff views, and the serene beauty of the Nusa Islands and Indonesia? Before you dive into planning, let us navigate you through how to spend three days in the Nusa Islands. Join us as we reveal the secrets of this hidden paradise, offering exclusive local insights and tips that will transform your visit into an unforgettable adventure. From the mystical underwater world to the enchanting landscapes, we're here to uncover the treasures that lie beyond the typical tourist trails. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more incredible travel explorations around the globe. Best Time to Visit The ideal time to visit the Nusa Islands, encompassing Nusa Lembongan, Nusa Cheningan, and Nusa Penida, is during the dry season from April to October. During these months, you'll enjoy sunny days, minimal rainfall, and optimal conditions for outdoor activities such as snorkeling, diving, and exploring the island's breathtaking landscapes. The shoulder months of April and October offer the added benefit of fewer tourists and more competitive accommodation prices, making them perfect for those seeking a more intimate experience with nature's wonder. City Airport Tips Upon arriving in Bali, the gateway to the Nusa Islands, you'll land at Ngurarai International Airport, Denpasar, for a seamless transition to the islands. It's recommended to pre-arrange your transfer to the Sanur Beach Port, where speedboats frequently depart. A one-way speedboat ticket costs approximately 20 USD, with the journey taking about 30 to 45 minutes. Ensure your flight arrives with ample time to catch the last boat, which typically departs around 4.30 p.m. Where to stay in Nusa Penida, Nusa Lembongan, or Nusa Cheningan? Many travelers flock to Nusa Lembongan, but I urge you to consider Nusa Penida as your base. It's the largest of the three islands, brimming with attractions that require ample time to explore. Start with Nusa Lembongan and Nusa Cheningan, then head to Nusa Penida by evening. This allows you to begin exploring Nusa Penida early the next day, giving you more time for sightseeing. Plan for a two-night stay on Nusa Penida, ensuring you have two full days to explore its wonders with your last day reserved for returning to Bali. Accommodations on Nusa Penida range from budget-friendly hostels starting at around 10 USD per night to luxurious villas with prices up to 200 USD per night. I recommend staying in the northwest part of the island for the best experience and access to sites. How to get around Renting a scooter is the most efficient and exhilarating way to explore the islands. With rental costs at around 5 to 7 USD per day, this mode of transportation offers the freedom to discover secluded beaches, local villages, and hidden spots at your own pace. For those not comfortable on two wheels, private car hires with a driver are available, especially on Nusa Benita, starting at 35 USD for a full day, providing a comfortable and flexible travel option. Day 1. Nusa Lembongan and Nusa Cheningan Jungut Batu Beach Upon arrival, you'll likely dock at Jungut Batu Beach, the gateway to Nusa Lembongan and its longest stretch of sand. It's a fantastic spot to get your bearings, flanked by a variety of eateries worth exploring. Taxi drivers abound here, offering an alternative if scooting around isn't your style. Remember, bargaining is key to securing a good deal for your rides. While Jungut Batu Beach boasts its own charm, it's just the tip of the iceberg. With so much more to see across the Nusa Islands, consider this beach a brief intro, rather than a mainstay. Insider Tip Allocate just enough time to appreciate its beauty before venturing off to the next adventure on your list. Mushroom Bay Beach Nusa Lembongan has another ferry port at Mushroom Bay Beach. In addition to the more commonly used Jungut Batu Beach, while most arrivals are at Jungut Batu, you might find yourself docking at Mushroom Bay. This spot is surrounded by numerous eateries and boasts a charming beach. However, if your boat lands elsewhere, it's okay to miss out on Mushroom Bay. Similarly, if Mushroom Bay is your landing spot, you might want to skip a visit to Jungut Batu Beach since they offer similar vibes. Devil's Tear Devil's Tear on the island's southwest offers a breathtaking natural spectacle where waves clash against cliffs, creating dramatic sprays and a mist that resembles the tear of the devil. 
This powerful display, complete with mini waterfalls, is a highlight for any visitor to the Noosa Islands. To avoid the crowds and enjoy a more tranquil experience, try to get there early in the morning. Remember, the waves here can be unpredictable and strong, so for your safety, keep a respectful distance from the edge. A short walk from the main attraction, you'll find natural tide pools. While tempting, it's best to stay out of the water due to the sudden and powerful waves. Dream Beach Dream Beach, a stone's throw away from the Devil's Tier, stands out as Nusa Limbongan's beloved beach destination, offering the ideal mix of relaxation and ocean dips. For those looking to soak up the beauty without spending the whole day on the sand, consider keeping your taxi on standby. The parking area might be bustling with vehicles, but these are typically linked to organized tours with guests already on board. Finding a free taxi nearby can be a challenge as we learned the hard way. To avoid a lengthy trek from this spot, it's wise to arrange with your taxi driver for a few hours of assistance. And here's an insider tip, discussing and settling on a fair price for this convenience, usually around 20 to 30 USD, ensures a smooth and stress-free visit to this slice of paradise. Yellow Bridge the charming Yellow Bridge serves as the sole link between Nusa Lembongan and Nusa Chenangan. Just take a look at the photo below and you'll see it's quite snug, making it perfect for scooters and those on foot. As you might already know, Nusa Chenangan is a no-go zone for cars, so it's time to bid farewell to any taxi services upon arrival. Got a scooter? Great, you can bring it along to Nusa Chenangan. If not, you're in for a pleasant walk from here. My Beach Chenangan After you've made your way across the iconic Yellow Bridge, head south towards the mesmerizing Blue Lagoon. Sure, the walk can be a bit challenging under the warm sun, but the journey is sprinkled with delightful stops that make it all worthwhile. Make sure to drop by My Beach Chenangan for a refreshing break. Grab a cold drink for around 3 USD and unwind. Plus, they've got some fantastic beach swings that add a dash of fun to your visit. It's a spot you wouldn't want to miss. Insider tip. If you're looking to capture that perfect Instagram shot, the beach swings here are a gold mine. Swing into the frame during the golden hour for that dreamy, sun-kissed photo. Blue Lagoon. Nestled at the southern tip of Nusa Chenangan, the Blue Lagoon is a gem known for its dazzling turquoise waters and stunning rock formations that adorn the coastline. A leisurely 30-minute stroll from the Yellow Bridge will get you there, making it a perfect little adventure. Just keep an eye on the clock to ensure you don't miss your boat to Nusa Penida later on. Dinner In Nusa Lamungan, I highly recommend dining at High Bar and Grill, located on the picturesque Mushroom Bay. This beachfront restaurant offers a delightful mix of Indonesian specialties and international cuisine. Set against the backdrop of a stunning ocean view, a must-try dish is their seafood platter, which includes a selection of freshly grilled fish, prawns, and calamari, served with a side of rice and tropical salsa. The cost for a meal here averages around 15 to 20 USD per person, providing a memorable dining experience without breaking the bank. Day 2, Nusa Penida South how to get from Nusa Penida from Nusa Lembongan, Nusa Cheningan. As I hinted earlier, it's smart to head to Nusa Penida at the end of your first day to fully immerse yourself in the largest and most captivating of the islands. By spending two nights there, you'll unlock two full days to explore its wonders. Once you've wrapped up sightseeing in Nusa Cheningan, make your way back to the Yellow Bridge and cross over to Nusa Lembongan. Near the bridge, local boats are available to whisk you away to Nusa Penida for an overnight adventure. Tickets can be bought at an official desk for around 6.5 USD per person. While the boats don't run on a strict schedule, departing when full, they usually fill up fast. Peguangguan Waterfall Kick off your adventure with a drive to Peguangguan Waterfall, which is about an hour's journey from Toyapaka Harbor. Nestled at the base of towering cliffs, the path to this waterfall involves descending nearly 700 stairs etched into the hillside. The cooler morning temperatures make this the optimal time for your trek down. The journey down the iconic blue stairway, narrow and steep, is an adventure in itself, not suited for those wary of heights. While the waterfall might not be what you expect, there's actually no cascading water to be found. 
The experience remains a highlight of my Nusa Penida visit. The breathtaking views at the bottom are unforgettable. Insider tip. Wear comfortable shoes and bring plenty of water for the climb. Although the descent and subsequent ascent can be challenging, the panoramic views of the ocean and the sheer cliffs are worth every step. Bana Cliff Point Bana Cliff is a breathtaking spot where the coast unfurls in all its glory. Here, you are treated to not one, but two amazing vantage points, the Panorama Viewpoint and the Bana Cliff Viewpoint. Each offers a stunning panorama of the majestic cliffs and the sparkling blue sea below. Kalingkling Beach Kalingkling Beach, famed for its T-Rex-shaped cliff, is a sensation on Instagram and an absolute must-see on your Nusa Penida adventure. It's a staple on any Nusa Island's itinerary, captivating visitors with its breathtaking views. From the top, the scenery is stunning, but for the more adventurous souls, taking the hike down to the beach is an option. Just a heads up though, it's a challenging trek. Expect about an hour's descent on a steep path. A word of advice, ditch the flip-flops or sandals for this hike. Proper footwear is a must. Insider tip. If you're planning to make the hike, aim to start early in the morning. Not only will you beat the heat and the crowds, but you'll also catch the beach in its most serene state, making for an unforgettable experience and even more stunning photos. Angel's Billabong Angel's Billabong is a breathtaking tide pool known for its crystal clear waters that might just tempt you to dive in for a swim. However, it's important to note that swimming in this stunning natural pool is now off limits due to safety concerns. In the past, strong currents and unexpectedly powerful waves have led to accidents, prompting authorities to prohibit swimming to ensure everyone's safety. Moreover, when you're enjoying the beauty of Angel's Billabong, remember to keep a safe distance from the edge. The ocean's high waves have a knack for surprising visitors, posing a risk of sweeping the unwary out to sea. Broken Beach Just a short stroll from Angel's Billabong, you'll find Broken Beach, an awe-inspiring spot where nature has sculpted an incredible archway. This natural marvel forms a unique pool with the ocean's water flowing in and out in a mesmerizing dance. While swimming isn't permitted here, actually access to the beach itself is off limits, you can still take a leisurely walk around this stunning natural pool, soaking in the views. Crystal Bay Got a bit of time to spare? Why not swing by Crystal Bay before heading back to Toyapake Harbor? It's a fantastic spot to catch a breathtaking sunset and unwind after a day full of adventures. And for the diving enthusiasts among you, you'll be thrilled to know that Crystal Bay ranks among Indonesia's top diving destinations. It's the go-to place for spotting the elusive mola mola, oceanic sunfish. However, a heads up for those eager to dive into these waters, the currents can be challenging, so this experience is best suited for the seasoned divers. Insider tip. If you're planning to dive and chase after the Mola Mola, aim for the months between July and October. This is when these magnificent creatures come closer to the surface, offering a once-in-a-lifetime sighting opportunity. Dinner For an unforgettable dinner experience in South Nusa Penida, head over to Amok Sunset. Positioned on a cliffside, this restaurant offers breathtaking ocean views, making it an ideal spot for a serene dining experience. I recommend trying the grilled mahi-mahi, a local favorite known for its freshness and flavor paired with a side of sautéed vegetables and rice. For vegetarians, the tempeh bowl, loaded with local vegetables, tempeh, and a delightful peanut sauce is a must-try. Average cost for a meal here ranges from 8 to 15 USD, offering great value for the quality and ambiance provided. Day 3, Nusa Penida North Goa Giri Putri, nestled on the northern coast of Nusa Penida, is a captivating cave temple that promises a unique spiritual journey. Remember, as a sign of respect in this sacred space, wearing a sarong is a must. Don't worry if you didn't pack one, you can easily rent one for about 1 USD. The adventure begins with an entrance that's nothing short of a secret passage. A narrow crack in the rock that requires a bit of crawling to get through. but. What awaits inside is worth every effort. A sprawling temple courtyard, alive with the vibrant energy of locals engaging in prayer and ceremonies. Thousand Islands Viewpoint, Pulau Seribu. 
The Thousand Islands viewpoint truly steals the show with its jaw-dropping views. Prepare for a bit of an adventure as you'll need to navigate down a steep stairway to reach the various viewpoints. Trust me, the beauty awaiting you is indescribable, so surreal I had to pinch myself to confirm it wasn't a dream. Ruma Pohon Treehouse the Ruma Pohon Treehouse isn't just a highlight, it became my absolute favorite viewpoint while exploring the Nusa Islands. Nestled within the Thousand Islands viewpoint, it offers a breathtaking panorama that you won't want to miss. Be mindful that this spot tends to draw a crowd as the day progresses. To capture that perfect photo at the treehouse, there's a separate fee of around 1 USD, and when it's busy, you might find yourself with just a couple of minutes for the shot. Atta Beach Atta Beach is a stone's throw away from the Thousand Island viewpoint, making it an ideal spot for those looking to sprinkle some beach relaxation into their Noosa Islands adventure. Whether you approach from the right or the left, be prepared for a bit of a trek down a lengthy stairway. And remember, what goes down must come up, so ensure you're wearing comfortable shoes and are ready for the climb. Diamond Beach Choosing the right parking spot at Otta Beach can be a game changer. Park on the right side and you're in for a double treat, as this spot also opens up access to the stunning Diamond Beach. Prepare for a bit of an adventure though, both beaches require descending a lengthy stairway to reach their sandy shores. Each beach has its unique charm, so it really comes down to personal preference. Dinner For a delightful dinner in North Nusa Penida, head to Penida Colada Beach Bar. It's a cozy spot with stunning seaside views, perfect for unwinding after a day of exploration. Dive into their seafood barbecue, a crowd favorite, or try the vegetarian options for a lighter fare. Expect to spend around 10 to 15 USD per person. It's a great place to soak in the island vibes while enjoying delicious food. As our journey through the enchanting Noosa Islands comes to a close, we hope you're filled with excitement and inspiration for your upcoming adventure. With the hidden beaches, majestic viewpoints, and the vibrant marine life we've explored together, your three days in this paradise are bound to be nothing short of magical. Remember, the true beauty of travel lies in the surprises and unique experiences each destination holds. If you found our guide helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel insights and adventures from around the world. Your next extraordinary journey is just a video away! Safe travels and see you in the next destination.